Hey guys, uh, welcome to another video. Uh, the ones who are new to the channel, uh, welcome to the channel. My name is Ram. Uh, I do videos uh, related to unboxing, vlog, um, some random informational videos as such. Um, so today we're gonna spell, I mean, deep dive into uh, the functionality of uh, functionality of a uh, uh, Garmin um, Vivo Active 4. My previous video. Um, was related to the unboxing of that particular watch and today i want to walk you guys through how to uh, control it how to use it and um, how does it look uh, when you connect or when you sync it with the mobile phone be it android or ios and have a, have a look into it all right uh, let's get into the video hey guys um, let's uh, deep dive into the functionality of this particular watch uh, before I get into the functionality of this watch, uh, so let me give you a few basic uh, specs of this particular watch. Um, so this core of this particular watch is made up of uh, stainless steel. Uh, the overall weight of this particular watch is around 50 grams approximately. And uh, the most uh, asked question uh, when it comes for a digital watch is how long does it last, right? So when you're using it only as a smartwatch, right, uh, without uh, making use of the GPS or the music, um, which is part of this particular watch and any other, um, you know, uh, features, uh, then it lasts up to eight days, uh, right? It lasts up to eight days. Uh, if you're using um, the music along with the GPS, then it lasts up around six hours. And then if you're using um, only the GPS without the music uh, throughout, then it lasts around 18 hours, right? This is this is the basic approximate stats uh, which you can relate to if you're if you're planning to buy this particular watch, right? Let's get into the basic controls of this particular watch. So whatever you whatever you're uh, seeing here is basically the watch face. Uh, you can modify this. Uh, you have two buttons here, uh, the top, one on the top and one on the bottom. Uh, the one on the bottom is basically to give you the back option as well as giving uh, take you to the settings of that particular uh, phase uh, I mean whichever phase that you're, you're in and the top top uh, watch gives you the shortcuts to all the widgets as well as if you have to select something it gives you that option as well so say if you want to if you're not happy about this particular watch face and you want to change it you long press the bottom button it takes you to the uh, settings of that particular phase and then you go to the watch face and then choose one which of you are really interested in, and then you select it it goes boom right and then uh, you have different swipes as well uh, you do have a right swipe you you do have a, a left swipe left swipe is nothing but a shortcut that you set it right whatever uh, particular option or a feature that you're really uh, using it more often you can set it up again using the bottom button and then you do have top and uh, bottom swipes it's a loop so you can either go from top or you can go from bottom as well let's go from top so it gives you all the uh, health information how many steps you've taken how many calories you have burned how, how much uh, is your average heartbeat and uh, how uh, how well you're breathing uh, every minute all these informations will be recorded here uh, since i was not wearing it for a long time now uh, you're not able to see those information here but uh, you do have you do see the number of steps i've taken today and the number of calories i've burned so far is today as well right and then you have uh, these heart rate stress level body battery respirations uh, given here as a number right now since i'm not wearing it wearing it on my hand you're not getting it as a number you're just getting it as a uh, what do you say uh, just a naming naming there once you wear it you'll get the uh, information i'll show it to you at the last how does it look like and then you have uh, the activities that you've done for that particular week so you've done cycling you've done running you've done uh, walking all these activities will be recorded here right and then you have the average of the art rate like you know in the last four hours uh, the art rate graph will be recorded so all this information can be modified what do you want in the uh, what do you want in the first uh, you know dial or the first uh, roll of the uh, settings and then accordingly you can keep it as well you do have the weather and uh, you do have 
the notification if uh, when when you sync it with the mobile the notification gets recorded and then it stays you can clear it as well you can mark it red as well or you can even reply um, to those emails or to those messages through the watch itself right and then you do have spotify connected uh, one information about spotify is that um, to uh, if you use the Spotify in the watch, you basically need to have a premium version of the Spotify. Until unless you don't have a premium version, then you can't just uh, make use of the Spotify on the watch. And then you come back to the dial again. One more option that you have in this particular watch is the top button. So when you long press the top button, you go back to all these widgets that you have. So you have uh, power button, lock button, brightness, stopwatch, and then you have uh, connect to the mobile. I'll take you guys through that. And then you have night mode gps and then you have call and then you have uh, uh, so, no uh, spotify then you have your files as well and again you you uh, do a left swipe from whichever screen you are in you come back to the the clock face that's one shortcut as well yeah um, so one more thing that uh, you have in this particular watch is uh, to record your activities like i mentioned before right so the buttons what you have the top one and the bottom one the top one when you press once you get into the particular activities uh, uh, tab so you can you have different activities to go with you have bike you have walk walk indoor strength and you'll have when you press on it you still you get many more activities to go with uh, I usually uh, go for the bike um, you know the bike option so for example I come back and I go for the bicycle I click on it uh, it usually waits for the GPS uh, uh, to give you information when you're when you're at home you won't be able to get the GPS you have to go outside that is when you'll get the GPS and once you get the GPS you'll have a uh, kind of a, like a uh, you know color your code um, in green green in color and it'll uh, you know um, notify you to basically press this button which will start uh, your activity for example if I started right now it automatically started even even though there wasn't a GPS recorded it's it's it automatically started uh, that basically doesn't give you the uh, kind of uh, the locations of travel uh, the navigation navigation details won't be given to you but uh, the basic information how much distance you've covered all this information might be covered but since GPS has not been recorded here it might be difficult to give you an accurate data but this is how it it gets uh, recorded so then you press it again it stops and it gives you an information about how much you've traveled what speed you've traveled as well and then as you can see you have two options here either to delete this particular data or to save this particular data so I'm going to delete this particular data since this is just to give a uh, trial for you guys so if you want to save it uh, save the particular data onto your phone you just have to click on the green option that the green tick mark that you had will automatically get synced your mobile hey guys um, so this is back to the time when I'm editing the video um, so I want to keep this video short so I'm not including the portion where I'm actually um, syncing the cam sorry syncing the um, Garmin watch to the mobile app and then showing you how the interface looks like um, so I'll make another video for that and then upload it separately so just to keep it short so that um, you guys can watch it uh, real quick so yeah that's it and until next time have a good one